Today we're fishing delayed harvest for trout in western Pennsylvania. It's going to be fun. Check out the full video. Hello YouTube and welcome back. Today we're fishing delayed harvest trout waters in western Pennsylvania and it is super nice out. We're at Westmoreland County at Laurel Hannah Creek. I printed out a list of all the legal places to go. It also has a list of the rules. I got Trapper Gary with me. Is he down there? Yes. So we're hoping to have a good day. Stick around. All right, we are walking a creek with some small spinner baits. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna try out that float rig that we had up in the gas station video. Couple other guys down a piece fly fishing. So we must be in a good spot. Okay, no tree is safe. But apparently the fish are so far. We're down around the bend a little bit. Couple of houses, guys fishing in the backyard. Really nice area, there's some ducks. I'm gonna try to take a fake photo of them for you. Location number two, about a mile down the road. Sure is scenic, look how clear that water is. With it, Gary, we getting what? Yeah, we'll give her a shot. I am fishing here, right against this rock face. Super nice down here. And I saw something jumping in the water right in front of me. So I'm assuming that's a trout coming up for something on top of the water. Maybe some flies or something. So that got me excited. Ha <laughs> ha! There's one right there. Did you see it? Oh my! All right. It's on. We're going to get one. Got another wildlife sighting. Ducks. Looks like they have green heads. Is that mallards? Put it in the comment section. Tell me what they are. All right, tech tip. Gary's gonna show us how to tune a lure. What's wrong with it, Gary? Give us some tips. Running poorly. Start tracking right in the water. So what do you do? What do you do? Show us. Well, you basically take your pliers. This eyelet right here, where your bull ring's hooked onto, you'll turn that, tweak it back and forth, tilt it, bend it, turn it right or left, until you get it to actually run right in the water. All right, put her in there, see if you got it. Oh, it looks, oh, it looks good. It's running a little bit better. It's still on its side a little bit, but it's running a lot better when it's not doing circles. And you said your dad taught you this, right? Yep. He used to cast into the swimming pool. Stand there, see how it's running, see how it wants to spin up on its side like that and roll over. It shouldn't be doing that. All right. Let's give it one more tweak. Put her back in there. Is this your patented trout lure? Yeah, it's my favorite bass lure. It's one of my favorite <laughs> bass lures. But they will eat it. Okay. See if we got a feeling. That's it. No, it's caught on that. Tech, tech, tech tip number two. All Leave right. the hooks on it when you buy it. Don't change the different hooks. Did you change the hooks? These ones here, yeah, these ones. But they're the same size. That's running a lot better there. Wait, there, I, can't, I can't see it. Get it closer to me. Okay, see it going floating down? I see it. All right, go ahead. That's running much better now. See how right. But that took a whole lot of turn and clear off to the side. But now, now this is fishable. All right, then catch them up. Delayed harvest trout fishing day two. I made it up to Laurel Hill Creek. Really nice up here, but it's crowded. One, two, three, four, five, six cars right here. A lot of guys fishing right down below me. So I'm going to try to head upstream, see if we can find a good spot. Stick around. We're going to try this Hemlock Trail. This goes right up along the creek, a little bit higher. I think it's going to come out in that delayed harvest area where hopefully some less people are. Oh, yeah. This drops off, and I ain't kidding you. So if you come up here and take this trail, be 
careful. This is outstanding. Ho, ho, ho. And I'm not that far up from the bridge where we just were, where, of course, we're parked. All right, I'm going to set up here. We're going to try this. Maybe try a mini foo, maybe some spinners. It's going to be nice. Okay, I lost Trapper Gary today. He was doing some work down at his mother's. So I'm going to do some self filming cameraman. Go out there, do a few casts, see how it feels. This is what we're going to be trying out first. It's a quarter ounce jig head with a white feather tied on the back. These are homemade. And uh, once this gets wet, it'll all smooth out to kind of simulate an emerald shiner. Wow, definitely had one hooked up. Couldn't get him in. All right, we're gonna go up a little bit. I saw some guys clear out up top, so see if it's any better up there. Stick around. Site number two. I cannot believe how nice Pennsylvania is. And about a quarter mile up from where we were before. It just keeps getting nicer. Good bit of traffic today. So I got set up on this rock. I can get out past the overhang of the trees. Take cast, and I don't have to stand in the water. Water's probably about 48 degrees. I got two people up above me, one lady walking her dog behind me, and two guys down below me. All of them have fly rods, including the lady walking the dog. And they're not doing any better. I'm sticking with that uh, Emerald Shiner clone and uh, just a small float on top. Okay, wrapping it up for this weekend. Had a great time fishing the delayed harvest trout season in western Pennsylvania. Got some great tech tips. Saw nice wildlife. Caught one fantastic stick. And enjoyed the weekend. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you can. And keep watching.